All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to today's stretch break. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Let's go ahead and start on our mat. We're going to start on hands and knees first thing. So wrists are going to be right underneath shoulders. Knees are going to be right underneath our hips. We're going to start with a few cat cows first thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to point our tailbone toward the ceiling, arch our back as much as we can, and look up towards the ceiling. And then we're going to go the other way, tucking our tailbone under, pushing the ground away from us, and rounding our back. And start to flow through that at your own pace, flowing from cow and into cat. And as far as the pace you should go, just flow with your breath, inhaling one way and exhaling the other way. We're not being too strict about it today. We're just finding what feels good and moving from one position to the next. And let's do one more each way. So one more cow, one more cat. And then we'll meet in a neutral spine, a flat back. Okay, hopefully we are all there back in that flat back position. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to rock back and forth. So we're going to take our hips back towards our heels. And then we're going to come as far forward onto our wrists as we can. So we're getting a little bit of a wrist stretch. And then we're working the hips as we go back. So come forward as far forward as you can on those wrists. It might be uncomfortable since we're not usually in that position. And then when you're bringing your hips back to center, make sure to squeeze the glutes, pull the abs in as you come back forward. Make sure you're breathing as you're doing this. Focusing on flowing with the breath. And finding what feels good. All right, let's do one more in each position, wherever you're at, and we'll meet back in center. Come forward, and then let's come back to center. Nicely done. Okay, so this time, take the hands a little bit further forward. Fingers are gonna be as wide as you can. We're going to tuck the toes under. We're not gonna come into a full down dog. We're gonna do a calf stretch from here. So. We're gonna have our left foot on the ground, and then we're gonna bring our right foot on the back of our left heel, left ankle, and try and touch our left heel to the ground. So it's not full down dog. Your hips are kind of up in the air, but not as much as they would be. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So bring the right foot to the ground, right heel tries to touch the floor, and then left foot is just on the back of your heel, for a little bit of an added stretch. And let's switch again. This time left foot on the ground. Maybe you can go a little bit further this time. And switch, right foot. Breathe, working into that calf muscle. And let's do one more on each side. So left foot to the ground. And switch for the last time. Right foot on the ground, left foot behind. And come out of it. All right, we're gonna have both feet on the ground, toes pointing forward. Once again, hands are wide. We're gonna push back into that downward facing dog this time, or maybe better known as a pike if you were in diving or gymnastics. So push the ground away from you. Head is just hanging between your arms. Hips are up to the ceiling. Try and touch your heels to the ground. 
And let's make this a little bit more dynamic. So we're gonna come into a plank or the top of a push-up position. So bring the hips down. You might have to adjust your feet on this first one and find your abs. Try and push the ground away from you. Nice, okay, let's push back up into that down dog. I lost an earbud. All right, down dog, hips up to the ceiling, heels to the ground, and let's come forward into that plank. Find your abs, push the ground away, squeeze those glutes, squeeze the thighs, and bring the hips up. Down dog, last one. Take a breather here. And let's walk the hands back to meet the feet. You can bend the knees a lot, just as much as you need. Walk the hands all the way back to the feet. And once you're there, keep the knees bent as you roll up nice and slow, one vertebra at a time. Head, neck, and shoulders are gonna be the last thing to roll up. Nice, once you get to the top, take a couple huge shoulder circles. Get all the crunchies out from sitting all day. Nice, and get one last big shoulder roll in. And let those shoulders just relax down. Okay, our, our next shoulder stretch we're gonna do, we're standing up, feet are just a comfortable distance apart. Hands are gonna come in front of you. So my palms are up, my elbows are right by my side. This is a great one you can do in your office chair throughout the day. So all we're gonna do is keep our elbows by our side and we're gonna bring our hands, our palms as far out to the side as we can. You should feel your shoulder blades squeezing together. Keep those abs pulled in. We're just gonna hold that squeeze for a couple seconds and then let it relax. Let's do those a couple times. I'll do it from the side so you can see what I'm doing as well. So. Palms are coming up, shoulder blades squeeze, hold the squeeze, and relax. Go at your own pace. We're gonna do five more of those. Make sure to keep the abs pulled in. Just be aware of if you're dumping it into your low back like I'm doing right now with my back really arched, you wanna make sure that your glutes stay tight, your abs stay tight so that you're not making the low back do all the work. And let's do one more of those. And relax completely. Nicely done, shake it out if you need to. Let's take the feet even wider. Arms reach up overhead. I want you to interlace your fingers, point the palms toward the ceiling as high as you can. You can look up towards the ceiling if that doesn't hurt your neck. And then from here, we're gonna to bend to the right. Get a nice stretch through our side body. Once again, this is another great one you can do in your chair. You don't have to be standing up to do this. And then come back to center. Reach up as high as you can once again. Keep your weight in your right foot. Let's bend to the left. And come back to center and release the hands. So last stretch of the day, interlace your hands behind your back. So very similar to what we just did this time Palm, well, palms are facing toward the ceiling again. Fingers are interlaced. Feet are nice and wide. From here, we're gonna send the hips backwards. We're gonna bring the arms as far overhead as we can. Bring the head towards the ground. And we're gonna settle into that forward fold. If you want a little bit more intensity in the stretch, just roll your weight towards your toes while still keeping your heel on the ground. Breathe, get a little bit deeper into it with each exhale.
and release the hands, the fingers, bring them all the way to the ground or wherever you have some support. And let's walk the hands over towards the left. Pausing for a breath here. And walk the hands back through center, over to the right foot. And hands come back to center. Once again, we're gonna bend the knees a lot, roll up nice and slow, even slower than you did the last time we did this. Stacking one vertebra at a time. Head, neck, and shoulders are the last thing to come up. Take one last big shoulder circle and set those shoulders down far and away from your ears and you can step together. All right, that's all we have time for today. Thank you for joining. Uh, we have our 3 p.m. stretch break tomorrow with Luis, and make sure you are going out and walking and doing our walking challenge. Make sure to actually log those walks. We believe you, but we need proof. See you all later. Thanks, Brittany. Brittany.